here for Zolotech and I wanted to show you how to replace a hard drive with a solid state drive. I've got some tools from iFixit here on a 2003 to 2007 drive. Now this is some suction cups. You'll need to remove the glass from the iMac and this is a 27 inch iMac. So you're going to place this in the top upper left or right, the suction cups. And once you've got them securely affixed, it's held on magnetically and you just pull and it comes right off and then you'll just slide it out carefully. On the left side of the display, there's four T10 Torx screws. There's also four more on the right side. Once you've got those out, pop up the display very carefully and then disconnect all of the different cables. Now there's some cables that you have to be careful to remove and you can see some of them here. The back of this is very dusty, so I'll clean that off. But on the board, you've got a couple different cables. There's one, that's the different angle of the same thing. We've got one in the upper right. Here's the other angle of that same connector. We've also got two more here and be very careful with these as well. It's kind of tricky to get to. So you'll need to get to those connectors as well. The same thing, different angle here. Now we need to remove the hard drive itself, two torque screws, and it will pop right out. It's just got normal SATA connectors on the back. We've got our power SATA and our data cable. Once we remove this, then we can fit the spot for the new solid state drive. Now you can buy an adapter sort of, but this is a little bit different sort of installation and a little bit controversial in the way I'm going to do it. But there's also a temperature sensor on some of these hard drives. So be sure to transfer that as well if you do have that. So what I did is put the solid state drive into place and hooked up the cables, then fit it so that it would actually fit with Velcro. It's industrial Velcro. I've used it many times and it doesn't go anywhere. So it works really well. Then we put the display back in place, carefully connecting all of those different connectors I showed you earlier. That's probably the trickiest part. Then you need to put in the screws and the screws are a little bit tricky because there's magnets right next to them and those magnets, Basically, as you can see there, make it tricky to put the screw where it belongs without it attaching to the different magnets. So just take your time, be very careful with it because you don't want to have to pop that display back up if one of the screws goes underneath a magnet somewhere. And then comes the most tricky part is getting all the dust out from underneath the actual display itself. This took some time to get it right, to clean it right. And once you get it, it looks good. And then you just slide it back in place and let it magnetically adhere. But it does take a few tries to get it right. Now we're going to turn the iMac back on. We'll just turn it on with the power switch here. And at the same time, we're going to hold down Command R. And what that will do is allow it to boot up into recovery mode and it's internet recovery. So it takes a moment and it will boot up into recovery. And once it does, and this is gonna take a little bit of time, you'll get a little timer how long, that's eight minutes it's going to take. Uh, once it's actually booted up, we'll be able to format the drive and then actually install the operating system on it. So what we'll need to do once disk utility comes up is go into it, wait for it to find our disk, click on our solid state drive, and then go to partition. Once we partition the drive, it will also format it. So split it into whatever amount of partitions you want, hit apply, and then hit partition. It will partition the drive, and then we can close disk utility and move on to the next step. So once we close that, I'm going to restore from a time machine backup, and this is great, I had a backup. Restore your system, hit continue, select the backup drive, select the actual backup, then select the destination and click continue. Now this is gonna take a couple hours, it will run and that's it. And it will be just how it was when we left it with the hard drive in it. If you have any other questions or comments, let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron, I'll see you next time.